And they were making this unbelievably delicious and so easy. Look at it, looks amazing. It's a cherry mascarpone cheese Danish. <gasps> so good. Oh, and it's ridiculously easy. So easy. Yum. For a full copy of today's recipe, check us out on Facebook at Poppy's Cucina or right here on YouTube under the community tab. You'll find the recipe there. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is prepare our cherry filling. So in my saucepan, I have one pound of pitted cherries. Use fresh, frozen. I'm using frozen. <laughs> Half a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, uh, and two tablespoons of limoncello, along with a third of a cup of water. All right, so we're going to cook this over medium to medium high heat, about eight to ten minutes until this becomes a beautiful, thick, it's almost gonna look like a pie filling. Oh, it's going to be so yummy. It's about 10 minutes later, this is done. See, look how beautiful and creamy, thick, and rich that is. Oh, it tastes so good too. But obviously it's too hot, so you wanna make sure this cools down for at least an hour or so before you use this. Oh, this is so yummy, so yummy. But make sure when you're cooking this, you stir it constantly because it seizes up on you quick. I almost learned the hard way. <laughs> so once your cherry mixture has had some time to cool, we're gonna make our cheese filling. So in this bowl, we have eight ounces of mascarpone cheese, um, half a cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of vanilla, and then I have one egg yolk. You wanna make sure you save the egg white because we're gonna use that to glaze the top of the Danish. All right, so now we're gonna mix this all together till it's all nice and creamy, just like that. Now let's prep our puff pastry. Here we have our thawed sheet of puff pastry that I lined on top of a sheet of parchment paper onto our sheet tray. All right, so now we are gonna put our now cooled cherry mixture right down the middle. See how beautiful and thick this is? Oh, it looks so good. So yummy. All right, so we're gonna keep lining, putting this right down the middle, just like that. And now we are gonna top this with this beautiful mascarpone cream we made. This is gonna go right down the middle of this. Nice, thick, beautiful cheesy layer. Right in the middle of the cherries. So what do you guys think so far? Do you like this? Does this sound like a good thing? Or a great thing? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. And you know, if you have any suggestions or recommendations or ideas for future videos, let me know, please. I get my best ideas from you guys. So keep them coming. All right, so you got this right down the middle. Doesn't that look nice? All right, so now with the knife, we are gonna make 10 incisions down the sides. So, just about an inch apart. You don't wanna get it right to the cherries. You wanna get at least like half an inch in between. Okay, so we're gonna do this down both sides. Okay. I'm gonna go down both sides like that like that and now we're going to pull these ends up to the top and we're going to braid the top so just want them to overlap like that so i'm just going to keep going with this okay does not look amazing so we're going to do it like that just going to go on top Kind of looks like a mummy. <laughs> right. So we're going to keep doing this. It's like that. And now to make it shiny, we're going to brush it with that egg white that we had left over. So we don't like to waste anything in this house. So what I do is I just add a little bit of water to this, whisk it up. Now we're going to brush this right on top. It's going to make this Danish beautiful and shiny.
And when we're done with this, it's ready for the oven. So into a preheated 400 degree oven, it's gonna go for about 20 to 30 minutes. You can see it's gonna get nice and poofy. It's become beautifully golden brown. I'm sure a lot of the cherry mixture is gonna come out, but that's all right. That's why we filled it up a lot. <laughs> all right. So that's it. It's ready for the oven. Since the oven's gonna go. Got some time to kill, so you know what that means. That's right. <laughs>